All right, welcome back. We gotta go to the, the take the crystal star to the thousand year door. We got that email from Peach. She's on the moon. We're entering the final stretch, lads. Let me see if you got the warrior emblem. Yes, you do. Worth every penny. Oh, money. It's okay. I don't need the jam and jelly right now. Or for a while, actually. We're doing this now. Yes. And now, we're Waluigi. He's back, baby. Just like in the original playthrough. Get that chest. And get... The Ultra Hammer. Hello, Toadette. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. It's literally the same thing as a super hammer. Is it lazy? Maybe. All right, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer. Pretty standard, standard stuff, except now you can break big ass stone block. You can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to break the smaller stuff, but use the method I taught you to break the bigger things. Yeah, yep, yeah, sounds good to me. Aw, oh, she's sad now. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time we get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And be careful on your quest. Okay. Aw. There she goes. She's sad now. You know, I would love to see her again. You know, like, if it's possible. Because remember, this is the remake. They can do a lot of different things. Ah, uh, yes. Now we got this thing over here. If I recall correctly, there was a chest. And now that chest is here. An FP Plus badge. Which is pretty good. Oh, that's new. So this is where you can go to the Pit of 100 Trials. But now it looks like they have a save block and a heal block. I'm glad that they put it here. Deepest level reached? Zero. Oh. Oh, they don't give me records for my most prestigious power bounce? That's tragic. Let's go show this crystal star to the door. My, oh my. Still looks as glittery as ever. Alright, looks like the whole map is filled out except for, yep, now that last corner. The moon. Whoa. And there it is. Oh, it looks a little different. I see some rainbow tinge in it. Not bad. Uh, okay, that's like totally a typo or something. Did you see that, Mario? The last crystal star. It can't be there. We literally just got the email from Princess Peach saying that she's on the moon. And now the crystal star, the magical map is saying the crystal star is on the moon. So you put two and two together. If what the map indicates is true, then the location of the final crystal star is the moon. Princess Peach is there too. Just this seems wrong on like so many levels. The problem here is, how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment while I look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Yeah, so what you're supposed to do during this time, you're supposed to get, just get the Ultra Hammer. Maybe explore a little bit. Whatever, right? So that's, that's why this, this part exists. Zip Toad verified. What the hell? <laughs> verified? I, I'm only clicking this because I see the verified there. I heard you uncovered my imposter. You're the best man, seriously. Oh, look at the corner! You know who that is? Oh my god, what's his name? What's his name from the first Paper Mario? Ah, oh, that wasn't there in the original. I know that for a fact. Oh, that's so cool. I love that Easter egg. Okay, now I just want to see if there's Easter eggs. So now that we can spring jump, I want to show you guys a couple things. We go up here. Drop on this roof. Drop down to this roof. And go and spring jump to this shine spray. Right? Seems simple enough, right? Then you see where this red X is? Ooh, that guy almost got me. Go down here. There's a chest. Not a shine sprite, but hey, still some secrets. Flower save your partner, which is fantastic. Now I think I have one for Mario and I have one for the partner. I want to equip both, but I think they're both like 4 BP a piece. And so essentially, it becomes very difficult to actually grasp. Okay, two things here. One, a chest. Now you might think, what the hell? There's nothing here. That's what they want you to think. <laughs> it's conspicuous. And in this chest... Is a Defend Plus Partner, which is something I won't be using. <laughs> in this house, a star piece. So no Shine Sprite, but hey. I'll take it. So, as you can see here, um, the sound gallery only unlocks when you collect all the Shine Sprites in a specific chapter or in a specific place. And I just got all the Shine Sprites for Rogueport. So that was the last one. So that means any additional Shine Sprites have to come from the last two chapters. That has to be done as research by now. Let's go check. Okay, so at least we get a nice friendly reminder. Excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might get you up to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost, and you must use the cannon there, and it'll blast you. Hello, we're using a cannon to get to the moon? Isn't that, like, dangerous? I know it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of the details. The accounts from Far Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything, anywhere. Even to the moon. 
Great. Sounds super, really. So where's the far outpost, anyway? I believe there's a pipe somewhere beneath the rogue port, but I'm not sure of the exact location. Yeah, I know where it is. And you need an ultra hammer. You already have it. Well, it's party time then. We already got one of those. Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now. We'll use the ultra hammer to find the pipe. Get to it. You got it, Professor. Far outpost, here we come. Oh, yes. One more thing you should be aware of. The bomb moms who live there, they're sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Get the last crystal star. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. Okay, see ya. So if you guys couldn't tell, the pipe to far outpost is right here. <laughs> so let's get the far outpost at the very least. Chapter 7. Mario shoots the moon. Yes. You don't you mean he shoots for the moon? I don't think he's shooting the moon. Well, technically he's shooting the moon. With his body. <laughs> wow, seriously, it's so cold. Far outpost must be just ahead. Let's hurry before our toes get frozen. Yes. Let's. Just trying to remember where that shine spray was. There's another one hidden behind a tree. I don't like it. There it is. Oh, but first things first. <gasps> Music. Yeah, I like it. That's a nice puff. Snow cloud that appears in cloud cold areas. 9 HP, 4 attack, no defense. Yeah, and then uses a cold breath, and then it charges up with cold energy. Don't touch it, yada yada yada. Absorbs ice attacks. Vulnerable to fire. So that's a good time for Vivian, right? Well, I got a better idea. <laughs> Shine break. Just one more to max out Miss Mouse. Oh boy. Now, can I avoid these guys? It'd be nice if I did. First star piece. Am I gonna get bamboozled again? These hitboxes are so wonky. Okay, we're good. So far, the two piranha plants that I've already friggin' had to deal with beforehand. Oh boy, let me tell you. Not worth. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill this first one so I don't have to worry about it too much. No, don't headbunk the spikes, dum dum. Frost Piranha. Basically, it's a Piranha Plant with ice powers. 5 attack, 10 HP. You weak against fire. Don't use ice, it absorbs it. Yep. Well, good news, I have Power Plus, so that means this should do 10 damage? Because if this does 8, that means this has to do 10, right? Oh, it definitely is going to do 10 now. I'm just going to skip that. Damn, love the luck. Boom. 10 was just the ground pound thanks to the buff. I'll take it. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. We've got one more screen before Far Outpost, I think. And I don't want any confrontations. Oh, never mind. I got exactly that confrontation. Got an HP plus badge. I just ran away. Since I don't lose coins and I'm invulnerable and I can just mash the button, who cares? <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. Those guys are actually freezing now. I never actually talked to them, but they're like a reoccurring character in the story. They're just... They're just tr toad triplets that sing. I wonder where the cannon that shoots the moon is. I guess we should start by talking to the villagers, don't you think? Yep. Love what they did with the ground, though. It's all, like, kind of icy. Okay, now, as much as I would love to progress with the story, I'm going to have to call it a part here. The part's getting kind of long. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit all the buttons that help me. And be sure to take care of yourselves.